I run all my tests and exams and quizzes now as two-stage exams. So in a two-stage exam, students first complete the exam individually as normal. They hand it in as normal. Um, but then I hand out new copies of the exam, sometimes exactly the same. Sometimes I'll put multiple choice options in place of some of the free response pieces. Um, and then the students work through the questions again in small groups, usually about three students. It's an incredible application of think, pair, share. Students have each had the time to think very deeply about each of the questions and are ready to share their ideas and to hear the ideas of other students. It's pretty magical how the room just erupts into discussion after this very quiet, intense exam time. Um, the first time I ran a two-stage exam, I had students sort of form groups fairly randomly right in the exam. I wasn't entirely organized and students uh, expressed some frustration particularly ones who had sort of gotten stuck, as they would say, um, with people who they felt didn't really know what was going on. So I know there's a lot of research that's going into the best ways to form these sorts of groups, but my sense of the research is that it's all pretty messy. Um, so the next time I um, had consistent groups for multiple aspects of the course, so they had a number of projects, we had lots of in-class activities, so I just sort of formed cohesive groups that would last the whole semester. So they used those same groups for the exam, which seemed to have worked pretty well. Um, when I taught a really small class that didn't have those kinds of projects, I just um, told the students in advance that they should form groups of three, um, and if they didn't have anyone that they wanted to work with, um, they could contact me and we set those up. So in that case, they sort of had a chance to find people, work together with them in class or outside of class, um, just to get a sense of how they work together, and that seemed to work um, pretty well. After the exam, students generally feel better than if we had just done the individual part, though a number of students talked to me most recently um, about how it felt a bit weird to know exactly what they got wrong right away. Um, that information can sting, but they all said it felt way better. Um, and I think it's, and the research suggests that it's way better than students getting a score back a week later and effectively never looking into solutions.